Hi, I'm Greg from Pivot Stove and Heating, and I'm in Hastings in New Zealand with a very good, well, a brand new friend of mine, Murray. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, Greg. Yourself? Hey, I'll tell you. Good. Murray's Fireplaces, you're an installer. Yes, I am. So, how long yes. have you been installing wood heaters for? Um, all up, I've been doing it maybe about 10 years. Yeah. Um, for the first uh, seven and a half of that, I was working for um, a local guy, and then about two and a half years ago, I started Murray's Fires. Now, so you've installed pretty well every heater on the market I'm now. up to, I think, last count, we were over 1,200. 1,200 wood yeah. heaters. Yeah. Okay, so the most, the reason I wanted to catch up with you yes. of all the people here yes. is you're an installer. Yes, I am. You've installed 1,200 heaters, and you brought a pyro. I did. So yes. out of every heater on the marketplace, why a pyro? Um, well, uh, we had the choice. We obviously, well, obviously yeah, you obviously, would have. Um, we actually, we had our fire in over against the wall over here um, when we first bought the place. It was a new new header, uh, or fairly new when we when we bought it, but it didn't comply with the current, uh, the new laws that New Zealand's bringing in. Um, so we needed, it needed to be upgraded by 2016. Now these new laws, these are yes. the new admission laws. Yes, they are. New, new emissions and um, efficiency standards. Now that's going to bring it into, what's the new standards coming out in uh, 2016? New standards 2016 is 65% uh, efficient. Wow. Um, and less than 1.5 grams of emissions. Uh, Hastings are a little bit different. Um, the Hastings air shed is actually less than one gram of emissions for freestanding burners. Well, that's going to make it tough for most heaters, but yep. this thing rocks. Yeah, oh, look, this is, uh, is point, point, point 0.3. Point 0.3 um, and 78% efficient. And, yeah, and 78%. It's actually, looking at some of the, the numbers of fireplaces, it's um, it's cleaner burning than pellet fires, uh, which are quite popular in the South Island. Um, and it's uh, equivalent to a gas burner in terms of performance. So in 2016, when yes. all the new regulation comes in, you're already preset. You don't have to stress about changing it. That's right. I don't, I'm, I'm sorted. I'm done. I'm and good. That was yeah. the main reason you brought it. No. <laughs> no. There are. I mean, in terms of uh, fires that that meet that one gram standard, and that's the biggie. Most fires will meet the 65% efficiency, um, but it's the it's the one gram that a lot of them struggle with. Um, there are, I don't know. There's probably 40 on the list of, of fires I could choose, um, and. Why would you not choose a pyro? Um, more efficient than most. Um, cleaner burning than most. Use less firewood than most. Yeah. Um, produce a more constant, better heat than most. Um, well, how cold is it? And we're in Hastings. Oh, how cold does it get here? And I, it's a fairly we, consistent cold. Yeah. Um, Hastings is it's it's inland, um, so we're not we're not protected by the coast. Uh, you know, water stays at a constant temperature, keeps the air temperature slightly warmer. Um, so we can have we can have five, six, seven days in a row of a frost. Um, so it can get down minus two, minus three outside in the morning. Um, but on those days, it still gets up to you know, mid teens. Okay. Um, so relatively cold overnight. Nice, fine, sunny days during the day. So I mean, it's an older house you've got. Yes, here. it is. Uh, so 1920s. 1920s. I yeah. love it. It's such a yeah. classical house yeah. at this area. So those obviously is not the best insulated house under today's regulations. Yeah, no, not no, at all. No. We've we've done the insulation in the ceiling under the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we had that done uh, when we first moved in. Um, so that part of it is great. The walls are still. Yeah. Minimal. So, so with the minus three nights. Yes. How do you find the pyro in the morning when you wake up? Um, How's the heat cold <laughs> overnight? I always compare it to the old fire that we had. Yeah, um, that's a good one. With the old fire, uh, it burnt 24-7, same with the pyro. Um, in the mornings, we would come out, um, sorry, we'll start with the night. During the day, I could get the, this, this room up as hot as I wanted. I think the, the hottest I had it was 40 degrees. Oh, I forget that. Um, which is uh, silly <laughs> that's hot. too I was, hot, yeah, I that's was trying, you know, I was pushing See what it, I see seeing, what it do. Yeah. Seeing what it could do. Yeah, 40 degrees, hot, stinking hot. Uh, um, the pyro can't get it that hot. Um, but in saying that, it still can push it to 25, 30 if I wanted to really push it, um, which is still hot enough. Um, so that's this room. The rest of the house, we've got a little heat transfer kit that, that transfers some heat off to other rooms. Um, those rooms used to sit um, at 18 and then drop down to um, single figures overnight. Yeah. Um, now they sit at maybe 20 and they drop down to low teens overnight. So you find the pyros giving you a more consistent heat? Far more consistent heat. 
um, over the time. The lounge on the coldest, coldest mornings, the old fire used to get down again in single figures. Um, and that's keeping in mind the fire is still going to the point where we can kick it back in without striking a match to it the following morning. Um, with the pyro, again, probably the coldest it would get would be 13, 14 degrees in here. Um, so we've increased the ambient temperature by half a dozen degrees. And you mentioned about in the morning with the old heater, yes. little embers. How do you find this for overnight burn? Um, great. So I've, I've done it with, I've got a whole bunch of different wood and I've tried it with a bunch of different things. Um, pine, which is a, a fairly soft wood traditionally, you know, forests all over the place, um, cut down after 15, 20 years milled, um, off cuts of that. Um, I had to pick the right bit, but often it would go overnight. Now, now what do you mean right? Are you talking moisture or are you talking no, quality? No, I'm talking quality. I'm talking picking through, finding the right size, the right shape, enough to squeeze in, you know, a little bit of a juggling act, um, simply because it's a softer wood. And, and by overnight, I'm talking nine in the nine at night till seven in the morning. On pine? On pine. Wow, okay, that's, I'm not, that's I'm not impressive. Talking, I'm not talking 11 till 6, you know, I'm talking 9 till 7. Well, that's overnight um, burn and wood heaters, aren't they? So, so if you get 5, 6 hours, it's yeah. overnight burn. Yeah. I sleep probably a little bit more than that some nights. So you're talking 9 o'clock yeah. at night till, yep. Uh, yep. till talking, 7 in the morning. Yeah, 10 okay. hours. 10 hours easily, yep. on pine. On pine. Okay, well, that's yeah. simple. It, like I say, it was a... I, I would get it 3 out of 5 nights. You were mentioning earlier, it's not just a fire, you're cooking with it too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's, um, you've got a combination of everything. Yeah, so, I mean, I, So what are you cooking? Yeah. You said pizzas oh, earlier. Look, pizzas. Um, the reason I'm asking, because obviously yeah. I've seen your house. Sure. And I love your little outdoor. You, yep. You're obviously like me, you're a foodie. Yeah. So you've got pizzas, you've got... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, pizzas. Um, quite often, um, traditionally, we on Saturday mornings have a cooked breakfast with the, the family. We get together and bacon and eggs or... You know, poached eggs or pancakes yeah. or whatever. Um, quite often on the winter, I'll actually come out and cook them on the on the pyro, um, frying pan on the top. Um, so with no problems at all with the frying pan? No. Oh, okay. Cast iron frying pan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fairly heavy duty, throw it on there. Yeah. So what happened? Okay. Yep. See, I know the story. I want to tell everyone here the story. Sure. What happened to your pizza tray? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, your pizza stone? Uh, yeah, pizza stone. Went down and bought a pizza stone from the warehouse. Um, probably not a flash quality pizza stone. Yeah. Um, so the first couple of times I used it, um, just put it straight on top of the on top of the cooktop, the, the top plate. Um, put the oven over the top, and uh, sort of got halfway through cooking and thought, Man, this is this is um, searing the bottom very quickly and the top still raw. So I managed to get the pizza stone off, and the the top plate under where the pizza stone sat was glowing red. Wow, I thought, well, that's getting a bit warm. So we, we had to change our way of doing it. So we ended up putting it on a trivet. Uh, which is available as an accessory, um, and so, then putting the so pizza, trivet, stone, pizza so stone, trivet pizza oven. stone oven cooked yep. on the on over the top, um, and it was working incredibly well for half a dozen times. The fifth, sixth time, something like that, I ended up um, had a bit much wood in the in the fire and uh, got a little hot and ended up splitting the pizza stone in half. So you can cook off the top. You can. <laughs> yes, yes, you can cook on the top, and yeah. It's good fun. It's good. And I, I know I've certainly uh, one or two customers that I've got. Um, we put them. They had a, a kitchen lounge combination room, um, and one in particular we put at the end of her bench. Um, it was as far from her sink food preparation area as the stove was, and in the winter she put it on the fire rather than putting it on the stove. So she cooked. Um, I went and saw her three or four months after the install. And she said to me, oh, I haven't turned the oven on since. That's fantastic. So, yeah, it works, you know, it cooks. Well, mate, thank you for letting us take over your house. Hey, it's quite okay. So, in conclusion, yep. you'd highly recommend it. Yeah, absolutely. It. Absolutely. absolutely. Yep. Really happy with it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm Greg from Pivot Stave and Heating, here with Murray. Thank you. No, no problem.